Tokusan holds his ball. This is the 13th story from the Gateless Gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Drips. Tokusan went to the dining room from the meditation hall holding his bowl. Seppu was on duty cooking. When he met Tokusan, he said, The dinner drum is not yet beaten. Where are you going with your bowl? So Tokusan returned to his room. Seppu told Ganto about this. Ganto said, Old Tokusan did not understand ultimate truth. Tokusan heard of this remark and asked Ganto to come to him. I have heard, he said, you are not approving my Zen. Ganto admitted this indirectly. Tokusan said nothing. The next day, Tokusan delivered an entirely different kind of lecture to the monks. Ganto laughed and clapped his hands, saying, I see our old man understand ultimate truth indeed. None in China can surpass him. Tokusan holds his ball. That was the beauty of India. That was the beauty of our culture that all our saints first holds the ball. Because the ball represents the ultimate truth. The ball represents the love. The, love, the, the ball represents the sharing mentality that I will not share my talent without you pouring a bit of your whatever it is. So the bowl represents that every saint goes house to house early morning with the bowl and whatever food that they collected, they eat it up so that they will be able to go back to practice. Practice not for themselves, practice to find out how to bring down the pain in the society, how to bring down the hunger and how to guide the people lovingly without expecting anything return. That was the basics of the Karma Yoga. And that has been taken by Bodhidharma to China and China practiced it. And beautifully, not through big, big, big slokas, not with very, very big holy books, but in single languages. Tokusan went to the dining room from the meditation hall, holding his bowl. From where can you go from the meditation hall? You meditate means you emptied everything. You have no right and the left, up and the down, God and the devil, rich and the poor, black and the white. You don't differentiate. That is called the meditation hall. People mistake for meditation that you sit silently, so you get a special kind of power. There is no power in you. There is, and because there is only power, your power has been covered with the dust, with the borrowed knowledge, with the dirt. And you are a slave talking from the borrowed knowledge point of view. Hence, you are going to meditation to learn something to become more powerful. You will never become powerful. Here, Tokusan went to the dining room. From where can a person go from the meditation hall when you emptied everything? When you don't want anything? Because everything what you have is the most richest thing. Can you sell your eye for a one lakh rupee? Can you send your brain for a crore? It is priceless. You Once you know your power, you don't need any other power. So from the meditation hall means from your emptiness of your truths and your God. You go to the dining hall. You go to the place where Swami Vivekananda said, first give the, fill the stomach, then philosophy. So from the meditation hall, you don't go to the people. Once you understand the truth, you don't have to teach the people. Philosophy, you have to find them how they can fill up the stomach, how to create hunger, how they can become karma yogis to wipe out more tears, how to make people understand their priceless beauty. Hence, he went to the dining hall because before the, the disciples could enter the temple, food should be very important. Food means prasad because you can see any animal in the world. You cannot directly touch any animal, it will attack you. You have to first show your hands. And if they sniff you, then they understand you are not there to attack them. Then you become friendly, then you feed them. After the sniffing, you must make sure you feed them. Hence, the dining hall. He has gone to the dining hall to sniff. With this 
बाउल होल्डिंग इज बाउल बाउल इज होल बॉडी इज अ बाउल बेकिंग बाउल टेलिंग द पीपल प्लीज लर्न हाउ टू शेयर ए बिट ए बिट whether the people understand whether i am a sanyasi i am a saint and when they give he promises in that bowl with a small bow telling you can always think of me that i am available i am close to god i will always teach you the truth my temple is always open tokusan went to the dining room from the meditation hall holding his bowl Seppu was on duty cooking. When he met Tokusan, he said, "The dinner drum is not yet beaten. Where are you going with your bowl?" So Tokusan returned to his room. He understands the people who are cooking, people who are having the salaries, people who are the political leaders, people who are the lawyers, judges, people who are the business people. They are cooking, but they are telling, "We will give you only when the bell is rung." <laughs> they are going by the rule book. cooking after cooking they will give only to the people cooking is to share when you make your business money nothing is for you everything is for everybody but then when you give everything to everybody you have everything the whole world you are respected you are loved when you don't share you only give only to the bell to your children to your relatives then you become deceased then they cannot love you they that grab you to make you nobody hence the difficulty hence the struggle hence the problems in the society for the rich or the poor mother teresa said not only the poor needs love when the rich needs love hence i go to them because the rich needs more love because everything has been stolen by the children and nobody to take care nobody no children knew how to love them children knew only to sp- spend and lavish it up they forgot about love when he met tokusan he said the dinner drum is not yet beaten where are you going with the ball so tokusan returned to his room seppu told ganto about this Ganto said, "Old Tokusan did not understand ultimate truth. People talk that why this man at this old age wanted to go around begging, standing in the front before the bell. He doesn't understand the bell. They think these people are to be slaved because they talk from the slave mentality." Tokusan heard of this remark, asked Ganto to come to him. I heard he said you are not approving my zen. Can you admit it? This indirectly, Tokusan said nothing. Approving my zen means can't you understand when I'm eating? What is zen? Zen means when I'm eating, I'm eating. When I'm talking, I'm talking. When I'm taking bath, I'm taking. That is all the zen. When you're eating, you are eating with full of love. You and the eating only exist like the husband and wife. Only husband and wife exist. Nobody in the whole world. They are one. Father and mother is one. Hence, this is the family. She sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together. When they sit together, the whole world becomes that one family. The powerful family. You forget everything. Just you know only one thing: the love. The next day, Tokusan delivered an entirely different kind of lecture to the monks. Ganto laughed and clapped his hands, saying, "I see our old man understands ultimate truth. Indeed, none in China can surpass." Now he understood. <laughs> Whatever he said, it is only one thing: laughter. In the laughter, past, present, future stops, and in that stop, it's called meditation. It's a meditation. It's it's a medicine. and when the past present future stops you forget your name the caste your community your religion and when you when that becomes emptiness empty truth you see the truth means truth for you become the truth and you see the god when you see the god it doesn't see you god you melt and you be, you the god people see you like god hence In India, everybody called the saints and the gurus God, walking God. But nobody understands what is God because when they see G O D, they see from other side D O G. The the bookish knowledge people see D O G because they forget to see the reality of G O D. God. They see the reverse always dog. Always they talk reverse. Always they talk. They are not optimist. They pessimist. difficult to change that pessimism